Hello children, once again you are most welcome uh, to our science uh, uh, lesson. I hope uh, uh, the short holiday we gave you, uh, you did a lot of work. Those who never completed the work that uh, we had for you, uh, I hope you have completed it. So let's now resume our work and we continue with it, okay? So um, we want to start with something new. Remember last time we completed the lesson about uh, uh, light. Now we're not going to talk about light again this time. We want to look at something else, okay? Are we set for this? Yes. Um, now children, I want you to look at one scenario uh, that in life today, um, we want to do some work, okay? When we want to do some work, this work, if we are to use our hands or if we are to use our physical energy, okay, we may a kind of do this work at a slower speed, at a slower rate. We may not do it fast, okay? Or maybe, you know, I want to walk to go to Kampala, wherever I stay, okay? Like for me, I'm here at school in global, okay? I want to walk and go to Mkono town or to Kampala. I'll take a lot of time to reach there, not so? I'll take a lot of time, even you. Huh? If that is to bring you to school and you have to come walking, I think some of you may not even reach from wherever you are. Some of you are staying in Kampala, others Wakiso, others Gulu, wherever, okay? But walking from there up to here becomes a problem. Now, there are others who are doing work in the garden, okay? Now, when you go to garden, suppose they have told you, go and uproot cassava, go and uproot sweet potatoes, okay? You're using your bare hands. It takes time, and it needs a lot of energy to do all that work, okay? But um, that's how, long ago, man used to do all his activities. But today, we wanted to make work easier, okay? We wanted to make work easier. But to make this work easier, okay, we need to use the tools. We need to use the tools. Are we together? Because if I'm to walk, or if I'm to reach somewhere very fast, I need a certain tool to take me there. If I'm to do some work very fast, it needs a tool. My hands alone are not enough to do that work very fast, okay? So, um, these are the tools we want to look at, machines, okay? We are now in the world of machines, so that work can be done easily. Eh? So somebody can easily ask you eh, what machines mean. Just when they talk about a machine, we are talking about a device, okay? We are talking about a device that simplifies man's work. Simplifying is the same as making something very easy. Okay, so machines are devices that simplify man's work. Okay, now these machines uh, in life, uh, how do they simplify the work we're talking about? Okay, we are saying machines simplify work. How do they simplify work? What do they do? Okay, now these machines we're talking about that they simplify work, they basically do two things. Okay. The way they simplify work, or the way they make our work easy, okay? Somebody may not understand what simplifying means. I can use another word. They make work easy by doing the following things, okay? Like right now, if somebody is going to town, is in a car, right? So he wants to take less time to reach town. That means machine has simplified his work by taking less time, okay? Uh, look at if he was to go to town walking or running. He was going to sweat a lot, meaning that that sweating is using a lot of energy. But you can imagine this person is seated in a car, but he's not feeling even anything. He just moves by, you know. Now you're using less effort to do that work. So those are the two ways uh, a machine simplifies work. One, by making you take less time, okay? Two, it makes you uh, use less effort to do the work. Okay, that's the area we look at, and that's why uh, man has decided to make machines, okay? These are tools to do work. Now, these machines we're talking about, we're going to group them into two, okay? We're going to group them into two. Uh, we shall group them according to 
how complicated or how simple they are. Okay? We look at the parts they have. They are machines which have very many parts. Okay? They have very many different parts. We shall call those ones complex. Okay? If a machine is having very many parts, we call those ones complex machines. Uh -huh. Tell me examples of machines which have very many parts. Remember, they have complex, uh, very many parts. Because they have very many parts, it takes time for us to learn to use them. Uh -huh. So give me examples of such machines which we call complex machines with very many parts. Yes. I can hear somebody saying a bicycle. Do you remember how tough it was for you to learn how to use a bicycle? Huh? Do you look at the many parts we are talking about? Look at the pedal. Where you step your foot. Hmm? What about uh, the steering? Where you guide it, where it is supposed to move. What about the brakes to control its speed? You look at those parts you are talking about. So there are so many parts that uh, help us to operate that simple bicycle you look at as it is. So it is not a simple machine, it is a very complex machine. Give us an example of a related machine which is complex. Yes, a car. Uh huh. Another one? Yeah, aeroplane. Uh huh. Outside of that, you can mention many. Uh huh. Can I hear somebody? If it's not a bicycle, if it's not a car, what about a motorcycle? Yes. So you can mention machines that are in that line, trains and so on. Those are complex machines. But for us here, they are machines right now we are using uh, at our homes other than those complex ones we're talking about. These are machines which have very few parts. You don't even actually need training to use them. So we call them simple machines. Those are machines which have few parts. Okay? These are machines with a few parts. Okay? Can we give examples of machines that have few parts? Uh-huh. I want to begin by giving you one example. Then you'll give me some other examples. Okay? A knife. Okay? Do you look at a knife? Yes. It is a, a machine with a few parts. Look at a, a knife. Hmm? Yes. Other than a knife, which other one? A hoe. Okay? Apart from a hoe, which other one? A panga. Uh-huh. Which other one? A seesaw. Uh -huh. That one we play on when we were in the nursery. You remember? One person sits on the other side, another on this side. Then we begin balancing on it. A seesaw. Mm -hmm. Apart from a seesaw, a pair of scissors. You look at a pair of scissors. Okay? Uh -huh. So all those are um, machines which have uh, um, few uh, parts. Okay? So uh, these machines, so when they uh, ask you uh, about machines, all you need to know is it is a device that uh, simplifies man's work or man uses to simplify his work. Okay, uh, that is what we have just uh, talked about. Um, these are the machines that we were grouping. We said we have complex machines. Uh, there are some examples I did not give here and uh, which you gave. These ones are very few examples, very few. You can even give more than what we have here. Okay? We have no problem with that. Okay? Then the simple ones, those which have few parts eh, that we use to simplify our work. Mm? There are many. Eh? Somebody here is saying a ladder, a claw hammer, a crowbar, a nutcracker. Me, I talked about a pair of scissors. Eh? You can talk about bottle openers. You can talk about an arrow. You, you know? A spear. All those are tools. Those are machines. Simple machines. Okay? So, um, Boys and girls, uh, basically, in our work today, we only wanted to look at those two groups of machines and their examples. I hope we are all at the same level with you. And uh, there is only one stream, okay? There's only one stream that happened to go through this work when we were still here, and that is ostrich. Now, I ask them always to move still with us, okay, to recall or to remind themselves to see if they still have that thing we learned with them in machines or under machines, okay? So, boys and girls, 
uh, I hope to stop here. The work and uh, the two uh, groups or types of machines, the work is here. Don't forget doing it. Just check whatever we have learned together today and answer that work accordingly. Please always, when we give you work, don't forget to answer that work. Are we together? Stay very well at home and stay home safely. Thank you and thank you very much.